In this video, I'm going to see if I can make 50 pieces of content for one upcoming single. Playing the song, and here we go. I'm starting to run out of ideas, so let's think. Oh my god. Hey everyone, Andrew Southward, GeneraStudios.com. In my last video, I sketched out a 36 piece of content social media strategy that we were going to use to promote my next single and how you can use it to promote your next single. But I thought I'd one up that and just straight up go to 50 pieces of social media content that we're gonna make in this here video. And the reason why this works, we're gonna go through some very quick and basic math. Let's assume a very low number of getting 100 impressions or eyeballs on your post uh, for across all your platforms. For me, it's much less than 100 impressions on Twitter, but it's much higher on Instagram and YouTube and. TikTok and other places like that. So if you do 50 posts, that's 5,000 impressions on the low end. If you just convert 10% of those people to check you out in some other way, you know, that's 500 people. So now let's dive right into the social media content. First, I already posted a kind of pre-teaser to the announcement on my Instagram, which then gets auto-posted to my Twitter. Uh, last week and this was just a picture of me in the text I just said like there's something coming and this just gets people you know hyped up uh, for anyone that already cares they'll get hyped up and then last Friday I had the actual song artwork along with the release date and title get posted to my Instagram which get auto posted to my Twitter uh, and then I'm gonna be posting it on Facebook and then also on LinkedIn so we haven't even started yet and I'm already at six social media posts just to give you some perspective the Instagram aspect of that alone is accountable for 500 impressions. So we're off to a fantastic start. So as I mentioned in the last video, there's gonna be a full music video for this song that I shoot myself. And while it's not done yet, um, right here in the shot, I'm gonna film one of the, the camera angles that's gonna be in the music video. Let me just change some light. Blue light, check. Turn that off. Turn this off. Turn this off. So you can't really see me right now, but this was one of the concept shots I had for the video. The working title of the song was called Blue, and I ended up changing it to You because it fit the meaning of the lyrics a little better. So basically, I just got this light behind me and it creates this kind of cool outline. All this stuff you see here, I'm gonna vignette and cut out of the frame. And then like my chair, I'm gonna, I'm gonna color grade the heck out of this so you can't see any of that. So I'm right, so just play, playing the song and here we go. Yeah, so it's just this light put behind me and it creates this cool shot and it, it kind of has a story with the song, so it just made sense. So, you know, if, if you don't know what to do for your videos, uh, just just get, get kind of creative and just think of something like that. I think that light cost me like 60 bucks or something. It's full RGB. For that particular shot, I'm definitely gonna upload it to Instagram and Facebook stories. I'm probably gonna upload it to TikTok and maybe like Lasso or something. So let's let's just call that for social media posts. So I actually went on Fiverr and found someone that will dance to your song. And then in addition to uploading it to her YouTube, or sorry, her TikTok, she'll send it to you so you can upload it on your TikTok. So I did that, I paid 15 bucks and here's that video. And that I'm gonna upload to TikTok, Lasso, Instagram Story, and Facebook Story. By the way, if you don't know what Lasso is, it's basically Facebook's TikTok ripoff, but you know, it, the engagement's hit or miss, but you, I've had videos that I upload to get like 500 views. So, you know, I'm just re-uploading content I already filmed, so it doesn't hurt to have one. And that brings us to a total of 14 posts. Does my hair make me look like Jimmy Neutron? <laughs> So now I'm gonna do two different fake vocal performance type videos. Maybe I'll use these as an angle in the music video. I don't know yet until I edit it, but that's gonna go on Instagram, TikTok, Instagram story, Facebook story, who knows, maybe Lasso and maybe some other platforms as well. So let's do that. All right, so this is where the art aspects <laughs> come into play. Uh, pick a cool lens, it gets a super big depth of field, just your exposure. It's a bigger, uh, sorry, it's a lower millimeter focal length. So that means I have to get closer. But uh, now everything's all blurry, which looks really uh, cinematic, right? All 
right, that was a pretty solid, uh, solid thing. By the way, I'm not, not showing you the entire clips for all of these things because I figured it might get a little boring to just see me perform the same song over and over again, which is one thing that's considered for your viewer. Not everyone's gonna see all these posts because not everyone's on all these platforms and they don't pay attention and the algorithms aren't serving you to these people all the time. So that's that's why this method isn't annoying. <laughs> um, and then if someone is obsessed with you enough to follow in all these places, they probably wanna see 50 pieces of content with you. So think about that. This might work good for shock factor, uh, which is good. You know, if, if you see an advertisement and it kind of like shocks you or it looks weird, um, sometimes that can stop people in the tracks. So I'm gonna try to use that method here and maybe I'll do a couple of these. And I'm gonna try to make another shock piece, I guess. All right, so I think that's that's enough <laughs> playing with lights for one day. Um, by the way, I'll leave some links in the description, Amazon affiliate links for these lights, because it's not just this thing that I use. I also have a light panel there that lets me control the lighting in my room. Something's not right. Moral of the story, if you can completely control the lighting in your room, I have thick sheets across my windows. They're like sound dampening, uh, blinds or whatever. Uh, then I have a key light, a backfill light, and then two accent lights. That one's the wrong color. And then I have what's called a hair light, which just kind of gives my face and hair a little bit of sheen. And then this is just for fun when I want something special, but I, I could use it as one of those lights. And that brings us up to a total of 26 already. Remember when I said step two was build the list. Uh, I'm, I created a page where people can go and they can give me their email and their first name in exchange for free early access download of the song. Now, I don't think that I have many people on Twitter that would be interested in that. I think more of those people are on Instagram or people who I'll have to target with ads later, but I'm still gonna put that on Twitter because, uh, you know, who knows? I know there's some people on there that check out my music. So this is a tool called Sked Social. It's just an Instagram and Twitter scheduler. They also do Facebook, but Facebook has a built-in tool to, ske to schedule posts, so I just use that. <clears throat> so I have Twitter selected here. I'm gonna text status. And now we're gonna sculpt our messages. I'm gonna keep these like as, as drafts now, just because I, I'm the links, I'm still waiting on DistroKid to give me the final link. Um, but I can do something now. I can say um, my new single, you comes out tomorrow. Click here to pre-save it on Spotify. And I'll provide the link. And this I actually do have because DistroKids make, makes it like the second they process your song. So now I have that and I can go to, whoops, I can go to continue and then I can go to time and date. And then I'm gonna make that for the day before my single comes out. And I'll do it at 5.30 p.m. Uh, and I already have the URL in there. You can do this and they'll like shorten your URL if you're running out of characters. Um, but I'm just gonna leave that as that. And actually, I'll, I'll just do a post that happens later on tonight as well. So I'll just write two weeks to go, enter, link. <laughs> so try to make it somewhat curious sounding. If people know me, they'll probably assume it's music. It also says DistroKid, Hyperfollow, Andrew Southworth, you. So they'll have an idea, but it's a little, little fun post. It probably won't result in anything, but it's worth giving it a shot. Maybe I'll do two weeks to go, hashtag new music, you know? and hit continue. So today is the 28th, so I'm gonna go to uh, 7.30 p.m. As you can see, I shoot my stuff in advance, but in my opinion, not enough in advance. I'd rather have stuff like right now. <laughs> now I do also have this mailing list that I made. So this is what I'm gonna be rolling with when we get into actually running ads on this, and I'll be tweaking it to optimize it, but Basically, just a page that says download you. It has a picture of the album artwork. So uh, you can enter your email, yes, send it. And then when it gets to this, just says thank you. Check your inbox in one minute for your free download. And then I have links to pre save the single, which is that DistroKid Hyperfollow thing. Or they can just visit my Spotify. So if chances are someone's interested in the single and they have Spotify, they'll be interested in checking out my Spotify stuff. And they will be interested in Spotify because I'm going to be only targeting people that have Spotify because that's kind of my main goal in terms of driving uh, streams and stuff. So I have that link, go back to Sked Social, and I'm just gonna say, I uh, want a free download of my next single before, before it's even out, question mark, exclamation point. Now I'll just do question. New music, hashtag electronic. Time and date, and I'll run that for next Wednesday, because. So that was 3x, 
Twitter post. And there's gonna be more than that because as I get the links and I start thinking about things as they go, and then of course launch day, they'll probably end up being six or seven between that time. I'm gonna leave it at three just for the purpose of this video because I, I didn't, I don't have it like planned yet, so yeah. All right, so next I'm gonna make a very quick and simple video that kind of appeases to the music production people that are on my Instagram and potentially some of my other accounts as well. Um, and this is showing a video, this is showing a specific synthesizer using the song called Hive. I'm not even gonna get into the sound design because I used a preset for this. I'm just gonna kind of say, hey, I use this cool synth called Hive and I really like it. You know, if you haven't used it, check it out. Um, and it's gonna have my song in it. And then somewhere in the, the, um, the text of the post, I'll just write like, hey, this is, this is my new song, you. If you like it, check it out. Hey everyone, Andrew here. I used an exciting synth that I've never used before in a song in my most recent single, and it's called Hive. I don't know if you've ever, let me look under the camera. There we go, there's Hive. Um, it's this cool synth by Yu He, and I found that it's really good at making those like fat analog sounding 80s sounds, uh, like cool pluck leads and cool thick basses. So not 100% I'm gonna use that, but I have a backup version as well that I might do. So I'm gonna count it for now, but it might get swapped out for something else. That's gonna go on Instagram. I'll probably do IG story, Facebook story, probably Facebook, and maybe one of my TikToks. So that adds another five pieces of content, bringing us up to 34. All right, so now I'm gonna do a couple of quick posts on a platform called Rizzle. Now, if you've never heard of it, it's kind of like TikTok, but longer form. And so the community, the community is a lot smaller and it's a lot less ridiculous. People are, it's kind of like a personal micro blogging platform, but I've been having fun with it a lot lately. So um, I have a music production and a music marketing and a Let's Sing channel on there. Um, so I think I can do a couple of posts for that. The so first I'm gonna do a post on my music marketing channel because those people will probably be interested in the video uh, that you're seeing, that you saw last Friday that came out today. Um, so I'm gonna inform them of that. Hey everyone, Andrew Southward, GeneraStudios.com, and I have a video coming up on my YouTube channel. It's all about how I'm promoting my next single called You. All right, so now I'm gonna go to my music production channel here, and I'm gonna show a technique I used to influence the vocals, because in this song, I actually uh, wrote a lot of the vocals in MIDI, and then I went back later and like tried those melodies, saw if they worked, and then came up with new ones based on those, and it worked very well, so you know, it might be a good way for people who are writing melodies to, to, to work on that. Hey everyone, Andrew Southworth, GeneraStudios.com. I used a somewhat interesting approach to write vocals to my most recent song. So I thought I'd show you there. So I'll jump to the screen right now. All right, so I just did two of those videos. I think I'm gonna do a couple more later, but again, I haven't done them yet. So I'm not gonna count them in this case. I'm gonna do 2X, Rizzler, and that's gonna be two. I'm not gonna upload them anywhere else. All right, so we're at 36 posts, which means I need 14 more pieces of content to consider this challenge completed. Um, and I'm starting to run out of ideas, so let's think. All right, I just came up with an idea to shoot a guitar clip because there actually is guitar in the song. So just adjusting my gorilla pod there. Again, we're not shooting for perfect here. We are shooting for bulk content that is good and engaging and offer something to the listener. It doesn't have to be a perfect work of art. Oh my God. $3,000 worth of camera gear almost comes tumbling to the ground. All right, it's gonna be short and simple. I don't even have my guitar plugged in because it doesn't need to be. Let's bang this out. Worst part, oh my God. Worst part about having a gorilla pod is bending the freaking legs back straight. All right, so that single piece of guitar video content is gonna go on Instagram, Instagram story, Facebook TV, Lasso, and Twitter. So that gives us five more pieces of content, bringing us to a total of 41 pieces of content, nine pieces of content left to go. So now I'm gonna record a couple Instagram story videos. I'm not gonna publish them until the appropriate time, but I'm gonna pre-record them on my phone just so I have them ready to go. Hey everyone, Andrew here. If you like my last single, Neutron, and a lot of you might've actually come here because you heard me through the ads that I was running for it, um, but I have a new song coming out March 13th, and there's actually a free download if you click the link in my bio. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'll see you over there. I don't know if that one was short enough for an Instagram story, but maybe it could just be two sequential Instagram stories. This next one might work better on IGTV. I'm not 100% sure, but it's, it's gonna be about the lyrics. And the lyrics in particular have an interesting message because they're inspired by the TV show called You. But I, because I like writing dark stories in my lyrics, but in EDM and pop, that's kind of frowned upon. <laughs> so um, I made it sound like a love song. So that might be interesting. So 
I'll record that. Hey everyone, Andrew here. I thought I'd tell you a somewhat interesting story behind the lyrics of my new song, You. If you ever saw the TV show called You. All right, so now I need seven more posts. All right, so it's been a few days, as you can tell from a different shirt. I, I had some time to think about this and I have a whole bunch more types of content that you can post. So I'm just gonna go through them in rapid succession. So Instagram allows you to actually share a song directly from Spotify to your Instagram stories. You just go to the song, click the little three dots and hit share to Instagram stories. And I typically do this around five or so times after the song is out. So that's another five posts. Now you can also do the same thing if you put your song in a playlist, to try to entice people to go check out that playlist and follow it. So I'll do that maybe two times, uh, you know, in the weeks after the single is out. So since both of those get posted on Instagram stories and Facebook stories, that's actually another uh, 14 pieces of content. So next we have some social proofing kind of posts. And these are primarily gonna be on Instagram stories and Facebook stories, but they could also go on Snapchat, for example, and they could also go on your main accounts like Facebook and Instagram. And you're gonna do this, for example, if someone puts your music in their playlist, you're just gonna share that playlist to your stories account. And if someone sends you a direct message on Instagram or whatever platform, you might, depending on what it is, you might share it and say, hey, thanks so much. If someone makes their own story post about you, you're gonna repost that. So let's just say, for example, that that happens five specific times, you can do them two platforms, so that's another 10 pieces of content. So next we have the kind of stats category. And so I'd say about a week after your song comes out, look at the Spotify for artist stats. And if those stats are impressive to you, maybe not impressive to Ariana Grande or Ed Sheeran, but impressive for you at the current stage you're in, maybe it's 500 streams, maybe it's 500,000 streams. Just take a screenshot of your Spotify for artist account, post to Instagram stories, Facebook stories, maybe even your Instagram account and your Facebook account. So that's another four pieces of content as is. You can also do this like a month or so later if the stats are still impressive for the amount of song, amount of time the song has been out. So that could be up to another additional four pieces of content. So we're well over 50 pieces of social media content at this point, but I mentioned at the beginning we weren't gonna count that, that music video. So now let's go through and see what that would actually entail. A music video is gonna go on YouTube. It's gonna go on Instagram TV. There's gonna be a snippet that gets posted to Instagram, TikTok. You're probably gonna post something to both of your stories, and then you might post it to like Lasso and maybe something else. Let's just say that's six additional pieces of content. So this isn't even an exhaustive list. I'm sure you can come up with many more options. You really don't even have to do all 50. Even if you just choose 30 for your next single, I promise you're gonna see very great results. Now, if you like this video, you can check out this playlist right here to check out more of this kind of music marketing and business type of videos that I do. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.